Welcome to the slaughterhouse. We'll leave you dripping at the slaughterhouse. Sliced up and missing at the slaughterhouse. There's no forgiveness at the slaughterhouse. With deadly screams, plead like muffled sounds. Eternal darkness, there's no sun and clouds. You better watch how you run your mouse. Or catch a fist that's been unannounced. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NUW Slaughterhouse, episode 27. I am the magnificent, most magnificent color commentator that has ever been, goddammit. Johnny Johnson, welcoming you as another Johnny. We got two Johnnies on this episode so far. You don't want to cross swords, but this Johnny right here, Johnny Reed. He has been hungry for opportunity. It's pretty much been driving him crazy lately. He's missed so many opportunities at the Tag Team Championship, NUW Championship, New York Championship held by Alan Reed. Probably is rubbing it in his face a little bit. You know, not intentionally, but Johnny just seeing the championship on his brother's shoulder all the time. It's gotta make him a little bit jealous. But here, Johnny Reed, he's been granted an opportunity once again to become the number one contender for the Continental Championship at Halloween Hell 3. But he has to go up against this man who is making his return to the slaughterhouse for the first time since the Backyard Rumble 3. He is certainly not a fan favorite. He is the backyard wrestling nightmare. Adam Anderson always was something to talk. Johnny Reed though telling him it's about the crowd, kid. It's about the crowd. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. I'm not sure exactly what Adam Anderson did to get put in a position like this. What? Nobody can Just like that. Adam Anderson. I suck. Oh, you do suck. You look like me when I was Anderson just toying perhaps with Johnny Reed. Johnny Reed laying down like it's nothing. You gotta be very careful, Johnny. You don't wanna get too confident. What the hell is going on? Johnny just standing up real quick. Not sure what you expect him to do in that situation. Everybody's money is certainly on Johnny Reed, but you can't discount Adam Anderson because just like that, he will kick you like gut. He will take control with those weak chops, though. And that Johnny Reed ain't taking none of that. Pulling up the shirt and then smacking the chest, caving it in. And now Johnny Reed, he might make quick work of Adam Anderson here. Johnny plants him down in the center of the ring. Take it home. Take him home. Johnny Reed's not often you can say Johnny Reed has the weight advantage, but clearly Johnny Reed is slipping up a little bit. But still on his game with the picture perfect drop kick to the back of the head. Johnny Reed. He is a young lion. And now, got Anderson up for a sit down. Power bomb. Johnny Reed just power bomb. Only somebody. two. Oh as God. Anderson is tough as nails. 
Say what you will about him. Big knee strike right to the head. Say what you will about Adam Anderson, about his personal life, about his agenda when it comes to peeping Toms, but not stopping down on the chest of Johnny Reed. And perhaps the perhaps the show there is Adam Anderson explains quite clearly. Take it home. Now Anderson stepping on that hand. And then off the forehead. Arguing with Goldface. Clearly an illegal maneuver. You gotta break that. Can't just be stepping on people's hands. Now this is a backyard wrestling, but god damn it, we gotta draw a line here. As Anderson got Johnny Reed in the corner and that big jumping bony knee right to the face that time. Johnny Reed is out. And then the senton, the jumping inverted senton. But Johnny Reed, Johnny Reed looks to have caught him. Styles and now Clash pulling up. all up the raw strength He's and power. So Not sure. Undertaker. Oh, and another sit down power bomb breaking Adam Anderson in two. And then oh God, Johnny Reed with a standing shooting star. Sack drops right on his face. And now Johnny is up. Johnny is looking to fly. And a 450 coming down flat on Adam Anderson's chest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Johnny Reed finally capitalizing on an opportunity. And he now will wrestle Mike Perillo at Halloween Hell 3 for the Continental Championship. Bravo, Johnny Reed. You finally did it, damn it. You know, it, it isn't a surprise to me that guys in NUW want opportunity, especially for the NUW Continental Championship. That's totally fine. Balance of Chaos had their opportunity, and I beat them. Totally fine. Maybe not for them. But now, Johnny Reed, supposedly one of my best friends here in BYW and in real life, is now number one contender for this against me at Halloween Hell 3. That rhymes. Look at me. I'm just a lyricist. Welcome to Playlist. Look it up. Download the song. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, Johnny, if you're watching this, which you're probably not because you probably don't know how to figure out how to use a computer or a smartphone. No offense. I want you to know that you and I become really good friends over the past few years but that doesn't change anything because now that I finally have something that looks exactly like this around my waist over my shoulder whatever you want to call it there's nothing no one not a damn thing that's stopping me from keeping this so at Halloween Hell 3 bring your A game because so I'm going to bring my A plus game and the sauce and I'm going to walk in with this and I'm going to walk out with this. Mike Perillo, ultra confident. And you gotta expect Mike Perillo going in against somebody he knows so well in Johnny Reed. At Halloween L3, it's gonna be an epic clash. But right now, we got everybody's favorite connoisseur of Italian goods. It is the Pizza Man. And he has been on a streak lately, but not the kind of streak that he would like to be on. Pizza Man. He has lost every time that he stepped inside the NUW ring so far. But right now he is facing a guy coming straight out the hospital bed. He was in a coma for months and somehow he got cleared by the doctor. Not sure what kind of doctor it was or where he got his license, but Jim Connors is back at the slaughterhouse. And everybody is happy to see him. Jim Connors, who clearly partakes in a pizza or two. He likes the game. And the only thing that goes better 
know when you came in, then pizza. weed yeah. is some pizza. Yeah. Pizza man provides it, baby. Pizza man provides it. A two liter soda for five sixty eight. Not sure what kind of hospital food Jim Connor's been used to. Probably whatever came in the tube, the oh, yeah, IV. Yeah. I definitely know he ain't being spoon fed. Scorpion in the hospital spoon feeding him, saying, Here comes the airplane. But now, the pizza man. And now, what the fuck kind of kick was that? But somehow it connected with him. Jim Connor still may be a little bit woozy from that hospital bed. Goldface making him break it. And now Connor's running full speed ahead, but still. You gotta do better than that. I know you just came out of a coma, but goddamn, you gotta actually strike somebody. Johnny Johnson calls it how it is, ladies and gentlemen. And now the elbow, right to the eye. You only need one eye to do it. And the big foot DDT. Jim Connors has been in full control of the pizza man. And now from the first rope, not even the middle rope, but the first rope, dropping that elbow. And only two, you gotta expect it probably two from the first rope, damn it. Jim Connors, he is rusty. You gotta expect some ring rust on a guy who just came out of a coma last week. He ain't been in the ring for months. Last time we saw him, he had a brick embedded in his skull. And now the pizza man, he will stunner him and then hit that spinning heel kick to knock him out. Right to the gut. The pizza man looking for more, but he only gets two. Here today, the two for two. And now Pizza Man, with the strikes to the back of the head, got Jim Connors over that middle rope. The Pizza Cutter. And now Pizza Man with the stunner off the middle rope, running and jumping. And now Boogie Loogie Lewin. Oh, you got your ass out here. He's outside, it is cold as hell, but the Pizza Man. He is hot, he is spicy, and he's always ready to deliver, as he tells you. And now Connors with a drop kick, knocking Pizza Man off the ring apron. And then to the outside we go here. Connors out. And then dropping that big double axe handle right to the skull of the Pizza Man. Getting awfully close to these fans here today at the Slaughterhouse. It's Jim Connors. He's a man of the people. You gotta expect that. Even with the pizza man giving out free garlic knots, Jim Connors is beloved. You gotta root for a guy who just came out of a hospital out of a coma. And now the pizza man sending Jim Connors into the pole. And then the big special delivery. Boom, right to the throat. Knocking Connors out. And can the pizza man. Can the pizza man get Jim Connors in the ring? Make the cover and win this match. No, Jim Connors. You don't call that out. Still able to stay in it. Perhaps with the assistance of the crowd alerting the referee Goldface. But now, the pizza man with the ankle lock submission. In the middle of the ring, Jim Connors in pain. Will he tap out in his first match back? No. He stretches. He shows the heart. He shows the fight that he showed all while being in that coma to stay alive. The pizza man. Special. Special. Pizza man trying to make a deal. Two pizzas. It's only available for the next 30 seconds, Goldface. 30 seconds. Pizza Man trying to make a deal, and somehow Connors is up, and he kicks him right in the gut, but faster than the Pizza Man can kick him, and it's a DDT for the win. Jim Connors victorious in his first matchup back here today at the Slaughterhouse. A huge win.
Jim Connor still favoring that ankle, as you can see. But he was able to pick up the W. This is a big momentum booster. You come back from a coma, from the hospital, from the brink of death. And you are still victorious. It shows the heart to fight why he is a gamer, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as bad as it sounds, you know, went to the doctor, told me that I'm in trouble, and I can't wrestle at Halloween Hell 3. Oh well, that's okay though. That's fine. That's fine. I have an idea. I always have an idea. I always have the smarts. I always have and I always will. So, at Halloween Hell 3, I am bringing two of my bestest friends in the whole entire world. One of them being one of the best competitors in not only KWA, but WBW, Stephen Adams. Because he has what it takes to be here in NUW. He could fly, he could do it all. And two. One of the biggest men I've ever seen. One of the biggest monsters I've ever seen. Jacob Stone. And I know he's going to make it here. But, all in all, you know, we just have to keep this in mind. They're definitely going to make it because they have the smarts of a man like Victor Van Pelt. They have the smarts of a man who's done it all. Keep in mind, I did wrestle Kevin Shaw at Best in the Yard 3. Keep in mind, I did beat Ecstatic at Best in the Yard 4. And keep in mind, I'm probably the best thing going today. And now, I'm going to help these two young kids make a star out of themselves. Because I know they can do it. I know for a fact that they can do it. So give them anybody. Give them everybody you got. Because at the end of it all, one, two, and you will be raising both of their hands. Wow. Victor Van Pelt promising two new debuts. He's going to bring in something special at Halloween Hell 3. But speaking of special, you just saw his partner return to action, picking up a victory over the Pizza Man. And now can Scorpion the Assassin, who interestingly enough, we know Taiku Mikado had something to say, some words to say about Scorpion and the Brothers Creed on Upshot. We really don't know what the hell it meant. We we're able to make out Scorpion and Brothers Creed, but pretty much everything else that Mikado said, we can't translate. We even tried putting it in the translator and it came back error, but right now, no translation needed for the BOC. He can use a Taking up the intensity of this wind, this weather. When Revit comes out using a force, you never know what the hell's gonna happen. Hey, did you just look up a hat? What the hell's going on? One, two, twenty. I know this, these guys, they've been hungry for opportunity. Meet me outside. Me hey, the Ustal, I, I know you like my hat, goddammit, but you better outfits. take it off. <laughs> Yo, this blew in, I took it. I took it. <laughs> and he does look good, but goddammit. Oh, God. That's Johnny's you lucky suck, hat. You suck. You suck. Oh. Hopefully it'll bring oh, Revan some luck in this match against Scorpion and the Assassin. Both these guys, one half of two of the top tag teams in BYW. And Ken Revan, who certainly has the youth advantage on his side. Can he pull up the upset victory over the veteran in Scorpion? Both these guys with knee braces, so you know the targets are painted. Get out of the shot, ref. On each other as Revan starts this off. 
And now Scorpion fighting back and into the hammerlock. This is certainly going to be a technical masterpiece. Revan needing a couple minutes to regroup, re-strategize. Go back to the drawing board as he's drawing out Scorpion. Scorpion, my mind. Pay attention to his opponent. He's gonna have eyes in the back of your head, but just like that, Revan able to turn the tables and with a force kick and a big jumping bulldog off the apron. Revan utilizing every aspect of his arsenal. You gotta watch out with Revan because. He is tricky, goddammit. And another force stomp. Driving his boot into the sternum of Scorpion the Assassin. And now, waiting for Scorpion to get up and now just delivering that boot to the gut. Nothing pretty about it, but Revan certainly effective, and that was beautiful. You could hang that in a museum. It was picturesque. Revan rolling off the back, delivering that vicious drop kick, and now the punches, the strikes, knocking out Scorpion. Oh, he's done. He's finished. His goose is cooked. And not yet. I don't know what it is about these guys and geese, but God damn it. Now Revan looking for the DDT and moonwalking, then delivering it. Michael Jackson would be proud. Revan looking very good right now against Scorpion. This is what you gotta do. You gotta stay on the attack. If you're revving, you can't give this man a moment to breathe and regroup. You certainly, with the size advantage, Scorpion almost double revving size. Revan by no means is a small man. Look like Revan was going up, looking for the old school, but Scorpion able to counter it with a punch. And now into the corner, Scorpion crushing Revan. But it took everything out of Scorpion to deliver that. And now dropping the elbow, Uso getting in the face of Revan, trying to give him some advice. But Scorpion, he ain't gonna let it go down that easy. He's gonna stay on the attack. He's been in this game long enough. He knows. He knows how it's done. And now looking to the sidewalk. Slam him. Driving him back first into the mat. Two count by Goldface. Scorpion with that mean headbutt. That face paint. It's hard as a rock. Good boy, you see how he snapped the neck too? Following Revan back, forward, side to side. And they're saying he's about to end it. Scorpion looking to end this right now with the Scorpion death drop. And he hits it on Revan. And that's it. But what? Revan. Good Lord Almighty. I don't know how the hell he just kicked out of that. The strength it took, maybe perhaps being wheeled on by his two teammates out here, Adara and Ustalo. And now, Revan, out of nowhere, with the sister Abigail. Driving Scorpion face first into that mat. And now Revan, he is one move away from finishing Scorpion in a big win. Here on Slaughterhouse episode 27, and they're delivering it. The hey, thumb, thumb right to the throat. Oh, that shit. spike. Oh, no. And now Revan 
Scorpion looks lifeless. And now that force choke slam. Choke slam. And Scorpion, God Almighty, these two men putting on one hell of a contest here today. Neither one lying down. What a match. You know, toe to toe. Shot for shot. Scorpion laying it in on Revan, getting the better of the exchange. And now Scorpion on the attack. And now Scorpion looking. He's got it locked in. The Scorpion deadlock is applied. Will Revan submit? What the hell's going on? What the fuck? It's Wilson. What is Wilson doing at the top of the ramp? Ladies and gentlemen, what the? Wilson is out here. No sign of Mikado. And I think both these men are just as confused as all of us are right now. What in the hell is Wilson doing out here? The manager of Tycoon Mikado. And Revan with the Malachor 5. Revan hits that Malachor 5 to the armpit, to the side, the rib cage. And now looking for another second Malachor 5 right to the face. That first one was like a Malachor 2. And now, that is it. Looks like Scorpion almost got his shoulder off at the last second. But Revan is victorious. The referee coming in to raise his hand. And that's official, ladies and gentlemen. Revan is your winner in this matchup. And the respect shown. No matter how it ended, the distraction. Both these men respect each other, they respect each other's team. They respect the wars that they've been through in the past. But today, ladies and gentlemen, Revan is the better man, and he pulls out the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am the NUW owner of the dark side in a little bit of a different office. People been complaining, so I figured I'd upgrade a little bit. I got a microwave, I got a fan and a, a lamp. Shit don't work, but it's here, I got it, it's an upgrade. You know, I still got my plants on the outside, but that's a different story for a different day. I'm here to handle some business leading into Halloween Hell 3, unprecedented event. You know, it's all been said before. I don't got to repeat it and go over the nonchalant bullshit that you're used to hearing. Now, we got tag team championships. We got the Heretics. We ain't heard from them since they defended against the Top Guns. But that don't mean that those championships ain't going to be defended. It will be the Heretics at Halloween Hell 3 going up against some two guys that... You know, they never even got their shot. Jim Connors was taken out, no matter by who or how, what, when, where, why, it don't matter. Those guys still are first in line for a championship match, and they will get it at Halloween Hell 3. But speaking of championships being defended, the Hardcore Championship. You know, it's been almost two years since we've had the Hardcore Championship been defended. And as you all know, the current champion, Yankee the Difference Maker, he hasn't been around very much lately. He came around for Backyard Rumble 3, but aside from that, we haven't heard from him. So, I'm going to do what Navon McDonald didn't have the balls to do, and I hereby vacate the Hardcore Championship until a proper title holder can be found. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we still got a long bunch of show left. 
It will be good. And it will be the dark side bringing it to you. Now stay tuned. Halloween Hell 3. It is here. It is upon us. Now let's take you back to the action. This next match and this is, is definitely going to be a heated matchup. These guys have no love lost for one another. Introducing first. It is JJ Cordero's opportunity to get back what he always claims he never lost in the first place. The NUW Continental Championship. But Mike Perillo after a very improbable win last episode with the deck stacked against him. The BOC, both members challenging for his championship. Mike Perillo was able to come up successful still with the belt. He is the boss of the sauce! But here today, at the Slaughterhouse, will the luck continue for Mike Carrillo? He's been on such a roll lately. Ending the Dark Side title reign, beating both members of the Balance of Chaos. And can he here today continue his defense, his reign? As Continental Champion right, against here. the Pitbull, J.J. Cordero. Oh Ooh, yeah. This is a oh, tall God. task, yeah. figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Perrell <laughs> with the S on his chest. Oh man, when it's cold, I forget my accent. Yeah. We're up against hey. another man. Up, Hope these guys got superhero yeah. logos on their chest. Yeah. And they are both definitely the superheroes and you I don't know what I'm saying. I'm smoking crack. God damn it. These guys aren't superheroes, but they are tough. My Perot doing his stretches. Gotta make sure. Let's go. Alright, it is going. You ran. Let him stretch. You should stretch. It's really cold. My He's all loose. My pro gotta make sure he can't be Woo! ripping any down. more hamstrings or pulling any quads. And now these guys lock up in the center of the ring. Perillo, Ooh, maybe you Cordero, the gym to me to and now Perillo oh, man. showing the muscle. Yeah, you tell him. Are you done screwing around? Done. Shots fired. Then let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah, or Daryl never gonna back down. Come on! What the hell? No matter how strong yeah. his opponent may be. Oh, oh, no. oh and Cordero, one step ahead of Perillo. Look like Perillo is about to pull a fast one and yank Cordero Whoa. back into the ring, but Cordero with the eyes in the back of his head. And now, a oh, in the head of Mike Perillo. And it's a kick right to the chest. That ass ain't feeling so good anymore. Mike Perillo looking at, oh, he caught it. He caught it, and now he got him. Oh. Put me down! You want me to put you down? Put me down! Fine. Rock-a-bye, baby. Cradle drop. By Mike Perillo, and now Cordero running at Perillo. But Perillo just lifting him up like nothing. And mocking it, Perillo. Say what you will about him. He's got heart, and he always is looking to talk some smack. That's what's gotten him to the place he is right now on the top of the mountain. Continental champion. Beating everybody. And now looking for a suplexes for Darrow. But now Mike yeah. Perillo, the luck continues as he suplexes JJ Cordero, landing him on the top of his head. 
So close. Cool. We're all made it to Sakura. You messed yeah. up pant cup. The fight will continue. Oh, oh, sorry. You show up. I know. That was Perillo. Oh. He's waited years. All right. So long Knock for an it. opportunity. And under the reign of Yvonne McDonald, he was never granted any type of opportunities. Look, he's wearing socks. But right away, the dark side, even at the sake of his own championship, given Perillo, he saw something in him. And he gave Perillo a shot. And now look what Perillo has done with his opportunity. We got JJ Cordero all messed up right now. Dizzy. And now drop it on with that sit down power bomb. Clandon the Pitbull. And the toughness of the Pitbull keeping this fight going. And then punching. Still looking to fight. Saying, what you got, Perillo? The attitude of the pitbull, and now flinching. Perillo always won the clown around, but it was effective getting in his opponent's heads. No, 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 and almost scoring a pinfall victory on Mike Perillo. Let's go, Sauce! As Cordero got this choke hold in. Perillo trying to work his way back up to his feet into a vertical base. And now with the elbow to the gut of Cordero. Perillo shooting him off that rope and hitting a big clothesline. Turning Cordero yeah. inside out. Excellent, man. Good Lord Almighty. Hell yeah. Mike Perillo coming back oh, from the dead with a vicious clothesline. And Cordero almost rolling him up, sneaking one out. Coming away with the Continental Championship. Oh, I got yourself tired. Just when you think you can count JJ Cordero out. He does something Damn. like that with a DDT. Damn. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oh, here's the patented double leg drop from JJ spaghetti. Cordero. Right to the chest. You and suck, now Cordero with that standing moonsault. And it will only All be right. two. Mike Perillo, right. he ain't gonna give up his championship so belt that easy. I can so tell you that man. right here, right now. Mike Perillo, no matter what, the Whoa, dark Pippo. side Whoa. has booked him in these past few weeks. Mike Perillo has done it with a smile. And now Cordero with the, the big buster. spine buster. I don't know if he got all of that right, spot right, buster sauce, that he man. wanted to, but it still was very the effective. The CEO of the That he sauce. hit it all. Who knows? We may be looking at a the new CEO continental champion, and it only is about to may be, be a matter of time oh, before oh, that prophecy oh. is true as Cordero dropping the elbow down on Mike God, Carrillo, God. and Cord right Cordero make the more. pin. Yeah. Hell yeah, fuck yeah. Cordero ain't done. He ain't finished. He wants to add the heart in one more perhaps to Mike Perillo. And it may not have been that wise as Perillo moving out of the way. And Cordero coming up with nothing but Matt. Nothing but hard ring. And now Perillo with the kick to the gut, lifting Cordero up into a fireman's yeah. carry. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Perillo, could he have it here? No, my God. Mike Perillo throwing everything he can at JJ Cordero. And like a pit bull, his dog's got fight. 
He is still in this matchup. One more time. This is the work Mike Perillo. Got to be exhausted. Got to be racking his mind right now, thinking what the hell does he have to do to retain his championship? Far from homicide as he looks for the gut wrench powerbomb. But Cordero able to counter, reverse it into a Russian leg sweep. It was a champion. And now, looking for the pin. And Perillo still, still staying in this thing. Cordero looking again for the double leg drop. Perillo had it scouted that time. And now looking for a gut wrench, power bomb, sit down style. And that is finally the end to this matchup. Mike Perillo victorious over JJ the Pimple Cordero and still your NUW Continental Champion heading into Halloween Hell 3. Yeah. Mike Perillo, what a match, gotta give it up to Goldface, but it was all Perillo putting in the work, the effort, and he can hold his head up high because he is still the NUW Continental Champion, and he will indeed be facing Johnny Reed, as you see again, that sit down, power bomb, and Mike Perillo picking up the victory. You know, they say power corrupts, and absolute power absolutely corrupts. I have to defend this championship in a fatal five way. I spent most of my career trying to get this title. And it just seems so fitting to have the odds stacked against me. But I'm gonna do it. I have to do it. I can't let anybody down. I can't let myself down. I'm undisputed champion. I did it. But I'm a little uncertain about the future. There's got to be all types of thoughts running through his head right now, headed into this title defense. His first at Halloween Hell 3, where he will defend against four of the top talents in NUW history. But right now, in this main event, ladies and gentlemen, we got the undefeated Clark Williams going up one-on-one -on -one against Navon McDonald in a match that was specially made by the dark side. You gotta assume the dark side trying to punish Navon McDonald by placing him up against this behemoth. Assuming that Navon McDonald even will make it to Halloween Hell 3, you gotta wonder what condition he's gonna be in after having a battle this man right here. Okay. From Newburg, New York. You he is the Devon McDonald. He's been in worse situations in his life. You can never count out Devon McDonald. Even when he has to fix the rules and change outcomes. Somehow, some way, he always manages to make it to the top of the mountain as he has words here 
with people on the crowd. A Von McDonald, one of the most hated figures in all of NUW history. And especially now recently that he is no longer in power, no longer in control. He's got a target on his back. He's no longer immortal. He is just a regular man on the roster. And every single one of these guys who he's screwed over in the past certainly remembers it. I've heard Navon McDonald's life has been a living hell lately. People cutting his cable. Right now, before we start this contest, removing the brakes for his car. You need to spitting in his sandwich. Right there, who we we? Right there. He got to get sent out of here. He's scared. Now, Navon de is demanding that Will Powers be removed. And I'm not sure. Goldface probably in the sake of keeping it fair in sportsmanship seems to agree that that is a good idea. Hell, I even agree. Let's make this one-on-one. -on -one. Clark Williams don't need to resort to any shadiness or shistiness. Yes, sir. Especially not from that guy. And then we are certainly going to have one hell of a matchup in this main event. Navon McDonald versus the undefeated Clark Williams. And in a matter of moments, it will be going down as Goldface rings that bell. You gotta like Clark Williams. You gotta respect his talent. But there's been an attitude lately. Some call it cockiness. I was called arrogance. Oh, that's case they made brick, baby. Come on now. Come on. Oh, you know, he does think right way McDonald's. too highly of himself. Stocks are looking low. He thinks he's the greatest thing in NUW since Jordan Oliver. Certainly he has talent. Certainly he could talk the talk. But we will see here today. It is yet to be proven. Yeah. I'm stronger than this motherfucker, and I'm gonna prove it. Don't underestimate Navon. Come on. Navon McDonald seems to agree. He wants to see. He wants to test that strength. And I'm not sure if this is a real wise idea, but it looks like Navon so far not doing too bad until God Almighty. That gorilla, Clark Williams. The pain, the agony in the face of the Von McDonald is clear. It is evident. Clark Williams almost picking up a victory. And really, aside from Revan. Who can you say that Clark Williams has really beat in his undefeated streak here at NUW? He's picked on a lot of secondary characters. But he has never had a test like this here today against arguably one of the best, one of the most despicable, but one of the best wrestlers that there has ever been. As Clark Williams just rubbing the face of Navon McDonald. Added insult to injury. And that bony elbow catching Clark Williams. And now the punches. Backing Clark Williams off. And now sending him into the rope. But Clark Williams reversing and then hitting a monstrous clothesline. Clark Williams, you gotta know. Oh, it's Navon McDonald. It's that jawbreaker. Navon McDonald able at any point in time 
to reverse the momentum of the match as he hits that double arm DDT. And this could be it right here. Oh, but no. Clark Williams. The toughness, the streak remains unbroken as of yet. Nirvana up to that middle rope and then dropping the elbow on the back of the head. You suck, Nirvana. Now what can Devon again climbing this time to the top rope looking for that big massive elbow that bony elbow right to the mouth and still only two goal face very fair calling it down the middle this one on one matchup Navon staying on the attack with those elbows. You gotta do what you can, you gotta do what's effective. And when you got elbows as bony as that, you gotta utilize them as a weapon. And now the boss man attack, right off the back. Driving Clark Williams' throat down into that rope. And now, as you talk about insult to injury, Navar McDonald with a strut walk, gracing the NUW ring and Newburgh, New York. And at that moment, that little opportunity might have given Clark Williams a breather, but Navar McDonald, so strong and resilient, able to fight off that attack. Now Navar got. Clark Williams prone and lifeless, and it's a neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker, but only two. Still only two. Nova McDonald pulling out all the tricks, all the rabbits out of the hat, the cat from the bag. And now that dog, oh, God almighty, the bitch is boot to the jaw. And Clark Williams, he had enough. Sidewalk slam, just picking Navon McDonald up like it was nothing and hitting that Spanish tarantula. That jumping swan time that he does, but only two. It's only two. Perhaps Clark Williams just looking to break the back or make Navon submit. But Devon able to get that toe on the bottom rope, and maybe he's gonna regret that with the back right. suplex. Right. Clark Williams yeah. dropping Devon McDonald right down on the back of his head. And can Clark Williams start to build some momentum here and get himself back into this matchup, back on top, and protect his undefeated streak here in NUW? As he's looking for a spear, Novan McDonald though, moving out of the way. Novan able to move out of the way, and now that roll up, the roll up from behind, and oh God. And oh, Clark Williams, Clark Williams with that cross face. The counters, these two men putting on one hell of a show in the main event. This is an excellent matchup. I'm not sure what type of submission this is, but he was stretching the arm, the neck, and then slamming it down. And now looking to deplete the funds of Navon McDonald going extra high, but Navon fighting it off, fighting off the attack. And he's got Clark Williams down, now driving his knee into the mat. Good Lord, these two guys. They've been going to war. Devon stomping at the knee, brutally attacking the knee. You saw all those guys, Scorpion, Revan, all wearing braces. Next is going to be Clark Williams coming out here in a damn knee brace after this match with Devon McDonald. And he still isn't done. Is Navon got a sick, sinister look on his face, dragging Clark Williams over to that ring post and then driving the knee right off the side. That is all steel, ladies and gentlemen. As hard as a rock. 
And now he ain't done. He still ain't done for a second time. God almighty. Goldface may have to end this before there's too much damage done. This man can never compete again. How dare you, Clark William? How dare you? They are both on the outside now. Clark Williams slowly making his way to his feet as Devon steps on the toe and now looking for that suplex or no, that, not that pile driver I should say as Clark Williams picks him up and now the white noise to the apron. Good Lord, white noise. Driving Devon back first into that apron and now Clark Williams up on that middle rope with a trust ball elbow drop right. right to the heart on Navon McDonald. And this could be it right here. But no, Navon McDonald still standing in this thing. Still kicking out. Still fighting. Hate him or love him. Most people probably hate him. Navon McDonald. Taking everything that Clark Williams can throw at him, and vice versa. And oh, God Almighty, that big boot. Good Lord Almighty. And now picking, just picking. Oh my God, the boot thunder bomb. Just picking Navon McDonald up from the ground. Like he was nothing, deadlifting him. Like he just was a feather or a pillow. Oh, Jesus, help me. What a matchup. Clark Williams, Navon McDonald, episode 27. The last episode headed into Halloween Hell 3 in the main event. And this is the type of action that we are bringing you. Like only NUW can as Devon fights him off and delivers that stunner. That jawbreaker right to the top. The throat of Clark Williams. Ricocheting off that top rope. And now what does Devon have to do? As you can see, he's cut open above the eye. Devon McDonald bleeding above the eye. Will that play a factor in this matchup? Navon looking again for the pile driver. And he hits it. God almighty, it's the pile driver on Clark Williams. And now positioning him in the center of the ring. Climbing to the top. Perhaps looking for that royal frog splash connecting to the chest and that's gotta be it. No, it is not it. You'll see the blood dripping into the eye of Navon McDonald as he applies that chokehold from behind. The damage done by Clark Williams and now Williams ain't finished yet. He got him up. In the fireman's carry, but Navon fighting it off with elbows. And now, looking for a royal tuner to the turnbuckle. Oh my god, a royal tuner to that top turnbuckle. And now a second one in the center of the ring. Planting Clark Williams flat on the mat. And Navon McDonald is the one to end the undefeated streak of Clark Williams. And your winner, Navon! What a war, and you can see the wound on the face, on the eye of the King of the Mountain, Navon McDonald. It was not an easy win, but what a momentum booster headed into Halloween Hell 3 by Navon McDonald. What will this mean for the Fatal 5-Way match? We all thought that Navon was gonna be banged up going into it, but instead he is looking better than ever. As he extends a handshake to Clark Williams. And you gotta give it up. A rare show of sportsmanship by the king of the mountain. And now going low with the kick right to the nuts. 
Disgraceful! There's no one better! There's no one greater! Than the Vaughn McDonald! This is absolutely despicable, ladies and gentlemen. But please join us for Halloween Hell 3. I am Johnny Johnson. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do it all. And we will see you next time. Thank you for joining us.